Hey guys, myself Rakesh. Uh, in this video, we are going to learn what is commit, what is push, what is pull. So these terms are very, very important when you are learning integration with GitHub, right? When you are integrating your project with GitHub, these terms are very, very important. So what is commit, push and uh, pull, right? Or what are all these options? Let's un have an understanding. So before you understand these terms, there are two things you should be aware. What is local repository? The other one is the remote repository. So what are these two things you should practically see it and have a complete understanding the so local repository right what is local repository once you integrate your project with uapa studio right once you integrate your project with uapa studio what happens if you go to your uh, project folder so generally it will be there in document so this project if you see i have integrated this with github what happens the moment you integrate there is something called dot git how to integrate if you have a question i have a playlist uh, github integration go to the first video where i am showing everything how do you integrate without any so please do watch that so here this one is integrated if i go to the another project which i have not yet integrated so there is no git folder dot git folder so the one which is there with the dot git folder so this becomes your local repository getting it local means on your laptop backup on your laptop so this is the dot git local repository or github local repository so this is understood local repository now let's have a look at the remote repository if you log into github.com and click on any of your repository that you might have created so what happens the the backup that is being taken on the remote server let's say today i have worked for six hours i have updated a sequence i have created one sequence i have tested everything is fine so i would like to continue to work tomorrow there are still a couple of activities still left i need to work on to work tomorrow let's say tomorrow when i'm coming uh, my laptop uh, is not able to i'm not able to log into the laptop something crashed my hard drive crashed uh, my os crashed i'm not able to log into the laptop now in that case if you have integrated your project with github this gives you a complete backup option if you have already pushed it whatever the changes you have made today you have already updated that or pushed it to the server to the github.com then there's an option to download so this acts like a backup so what i will do let's say today i'm going to work on the sequence let's say i'm going to work on the well, entire day i will sit and continue to so this to update this main.xml might require multiple days it cannot happen in a single day right but today i will put some six to seven hours of effort and then i will create i will build this main dot sequence but again tomorrow when i come i would like to continue from here but i don't know what's going to happen tomorrow laptop right so backup is always a good option right so the uh, github repository gives you that option to take a backup of all your things that you are doing on your that is one of the flavor of github there are also other things like you can collaborate collaborate with your entire team everybody can work and update their uh, changes so there is a centralized place where all the backups are made right so all these things are there we will see that later but at the moment you have understood what is a local repository it is there on your laptop right this becomes your local repository and remote repository there on github.com there on the cloud and all the backups has been taken if i have an option to even download this or clone it i have a video on how to clone it with on uapa studio so these two things are clear right okay now let's begin to the next step to understand what is this commit what is this push okay, what are all this we will understand let's say um, you know i am going to make some um, i am going to add few activities let's say i am going to add a log message okay i have added a log message activity and here i will select the log level as info and i am going to say um, project starts from project starts from here so i have added a new activity so entire day six hours i am going to work so entire so you can imagine how many different activities that would add so just imagine just for the learning purpose i'm just adding one activity right so i have updated the sequence so what happens if i go to the project tab and you do a right click on this project tab and hit on commit do you think it's going to update so what is commit commit means when you are saving something to the local repository you will known as commit the moment you hit on commit it is going to save the changes to the local repository when you hit push 
that means it's going to save the changes to the remote repository getting it push means saving to the pushing it pushing the changes from your local system to the remote repository local repository means if you want to save something within your laptop hit on comment okay now you will ask rakesh do i need to push all the time yes at the end of the day it is required that you push it so that there is a backup right or anytime you would like to push it so that once you are done with your changes push it so that there is a backup of whatever work you have done okay now let's say a uh, project has no changes why it is saying project has no change just now i have added an activity right so remember before you hit on that commit or push the first thing you should save your within the uipath studio this is an application right we are saving the changes in the application so that the github understands okay there is a change within the application the project from the application it will understand so you need to first save it once the saving is done now if i hit on right click and hit on commit what changes happened here if you see there is a pen symbol right that means there is a change where there is a change main.xml there is a change there is a pen orange color pen symbol now if you right click and hit on commit and it tells you which xml file there was a change then you can say uh, added a log right now i said the moment i hit on comment what i said that means it's going to save into the local repository that means it's going to save the change so this dot git has lot many things it will understand there was a change take a note of that so and push means saving it to the remote repository so you can do both this both the things at the same time if not you can do just i want to save it locally before i push it to the uh, remote repository because once i finalize everything let me push it right so let me commit so commit means what happened it got updated in my local system done now let's say i'm i'm fine okay, everything is fine let me push it what i will do right click because everybody is watching that right your project manager will be uh, taking control of that what's happening or your solution architect will at that so here i am going to hit on so the moment i hit on push what would happen all the changes that i made is going to get updated into the remote repository now if i refresh this and i should be able to uh, see that specific project okay uh, see that specific changes i have made so here if you see um, what I have done added a log message activity. So this is one minute ago. I have commit. You know, I have pushed it. Getting it. So all these things will be logged. Whatever you are doing, you can see everything has been logged over. So this is done. Now, so you have understood how, what is a commit and what is a push. There is also another option. Let's say uh, this time, let me open the login module. I am opening login module. So so what happens? You know i would like to amend it i don't want to have multiple layers of updates added log activity removed log activity added this activity i don't want so many things right because it'll, it'll have a lot of history so what i want to do i want to amend to the last commit so what i will do let's say here i'm making some changes i forgot to make some changes over here let's say i'm going to make some changes and here you can add any activity keep it simple go to add a message box okay so now this one so there is a change i will save it i'll go to the projects tab and you can see there's a orange symbol for this xml file let me do a right click and i'm going to hit on uh, commit and i'm going to say um added activities to a, a login module okay and then i'm going to amend the comment okay the current branch is out of date overwrite remote content okay what happened um, the changes that i made um, let try to go back again and see what happened okay added activities to login module so 23 seconds ago it has um, you know made the changes so what happened last time there was a different note over here for the main.xml file added log activity 
it is it has just changed the previous commit which i have made it has just updated amended it so it has updated that so you can see uh, the message box here it was written added log message activity that has been updated with the recent commit message which so amend is all about that so this a couple of things you have understood what is a commit commit means updating in the lo local repository push means updating in the remote repository now pull means what let's say there are multiple people working and you want to have the latest version of what is there in the um, uh, on the github on the remote repository you want to pull that the local system so this can be used there is also an option um, pull you have understood show history so history would give you a, a little bit of background so if you see uh, author rakesh kumar behra revision so if you you know keep clicking it will tell you you know who had made the changes you would like to review modified main.xml file updated main deleted main message box activity so all the commit messages that you have given right so all these are available over here who has done it um, date and what time he has done it so all this can be reviewed so that is the use of that so more more of the less you must have got an understanding now okay what is commit what is push what is commit and push it will do both the things the how to do a amend commit so all these things you have practically understood now you can imagine in a real time project how to use once you have a understanding thank you for watching we are going to again meet with another interesting concept and content for you thank you